everyone, it's me Stacy. Welcome back to our channel. And it's just me today. Michael's busy. He was too busy watching the debate tonight. But anyway, um, I just wanted to show everybody this cute little wreath I made today. And it's just a little Disney wreath. And it says, if we aren't home, check Walt Disney. And I thought it was really cute. It's a Pinterest inspired wreath. Um, it's got these little, um, um, it's got Mickey and Goofy and Donald um, and then a bunch of different colored ribbons throughout and it's just burlap. Super cute. Um, but I just want to show you, it's a quick tutorial on how to make this wreath. So I hope you like the wreath and I hope you enjoy the video and hopefully it inspires you to make one too. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe below. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to ask below. Love your comments and we love to answer them. See you real soon. Now all I want to do is take our wire form and then our piece of wire pre-cut to about six inches is what I used. Next we'll need our burlap and go ahead and just um, cut everything off and get it ready to You'll want to go ahead and flip your wire form over. Then you'll want to take your wire that's pre-cut to about six inches and attach it to the wire form. Take your burlap. I fold mine in half. And then I just fold it in half again. Then poke it through the wire. Since the burlap's pretty thin, it's really easy to do. Once I poke it through the wire, I just begin to twist. You, want, you may want to twist yours more or less, depending on where your wreath is going to be. If it's going to be outside in the elements, I would make sure that you secure it very well. Mine's just going to go on my front door, and we have an outside door that protects our front door, so it's not going to be against the elements at all. Now you'll just want to snip off the extra wire. I use scissors, but you probably should use wire cutters. But my wire was pretty thin, so I could just use my scissors. But just keep in mind if you use scissors, it's going to doll them a lot faster. Now this takes some getting used to. The first couple times, it's just getting it to the place that you like it. You're going to poke your burlap through the first section. Then the second section. And then through the third section. The first couple times you do this, it just takes some getting used to working with the burlap. Once you do this and you get it to the fullness you like, you're gonna want to squeeze it, bunch it together and then just reform it if you don't like it. And 
like I said, the first time it takes a little bit. After you get it the way you like it, just turn that form back over, twist your burlap. I just twist mine a couple of times. Then you're going to want to repeat the process. You're going to want to start sticking it back through the holes. And sorry you can't see it very well here, but I just kind of fix the burlap, the roll, and then I just start stuffing it back through. And once you get it done again, you're just going to want to twist it and then start shoving it back through the little sections again. Um, you can either do it two or three times through each little section, um, depending on how much you want the fullness to be. I think I did mine two to three times on each one. So I'm just going to show you a few times here and fast forward exactly how I do it. Um, like I said, once you get it started, it goes pretty quickly. You just shove it through one section and another section and another section. Get the fullness that you like, bunch it together, twist it, and then start the process all over again. It really doesn't take very long to do it once you get the hang of it. As you can see here, I'm almost to the end of the wreath, and I've used one roll of burlap, and I'm almost out. So I go ahead and just pull through my sections here. You can see right there at the end of the roll. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish this roll out. So I had to go ahead and start with a second roll. No big deal, I didn't use very much of it. And I needed another piece of wire so I could secure the piece that I just finished and the piece that I was going to start. And what I did was I just used one piece of wire to kind of secure all of it. And I just did this the same way that I did at the very beginning of the video. Once I got everything secure, I just sped that through, like I do, through the three sections, and really I just had to do this one time through. I know it was just one little section, but I do like my wreath to look full. I probably could have um, done without it and made a big bold bow there, but I really wasn't going for that look, so I went ahead and used that little bit of burlap. And I just filled it out made sure it looked the way I wanted it to, and then I took my scissors and I just cut off that little bit of ribbon there. I folded the edges, and the wire that I had on my other piece, I knew I was going to have to secure this, so I made it long enough to go ahead and secure this end as well. Once you're done securing, just make sure that you go ahead and flip that over and start fluffing it just as I did here. Now you'll want to pick out the ribbon that you want. First I decided to go with my red ribbon with my Disney characters on it. Pluto and Donald and Mickey and Goofy my yellow ribbon, red ribbon, blue ribbon. I 
I'm also going to use a polka dotted ribbon and a black and white chevron print. I did cut this particular ribbon at an angle. I measured them out to be about six to eight inches long. Each piece of ribbon varied in size. You can cut however many pieces of ribbon you'd like. It really just depends on the look you're going for. You can cut all of your ribbon at once if you'd like, or if you want to, you can cut each different ribbon and then go and add it into your wreath. I just wanted to go ahead and add in my main ribbon, and then I went back and cut my other ribbon. And what I did was I added this ribbon, my main ribbon, into the very middle wire of my wire form wreath. What I did was I just tied one single knot. Like I said, mine isn't going to be in the elements, so I'm not going to have to worry about wind and rain. If yours is going to be outside, you may want to use outdoor ribbon and you may want to secure it just a little bit better. Here I'm just adding the last piece of ribbon. You can space it out as far as you want. I wanted quite a bit of this little cute Disney ribbon in my burlap wreath because it is all about Disney so I did want the Disney characters on there. Now just fluff it out, make sure it's kind of what you like. Of course it doesn't have to be perfect because you are going to go through and add your other ribbon as well. Here I just went ahead and cut my yellow, red, and blue ribbon. I cut them about five to six inches in length, and I did cut these at an angle as well. Once I had all my ribbon cut, I then just took my wreath and I just alternated blue, yellow, red, right in the middle between the Disney ribbon. Once you tie that last ribbon onto there, you can take a quick look at your wreath, make sure that's the way you want it to look. If you have any frayed edges from your ribbon from working with it, make sure you trim that off because you want it to look nice and neat. Now I just took my polka dotted ribbon and I began to cut it. I also cut the polka dotted ribbon at an angle, just like so. I cut several pieces. As you can see there, uh, I bought my ribbon at Walmart and it had a few defects, so I had to cut some ribbon out, cut the defects off, and try again. Sometimes that just happens with ribbon when you buy it, when it has a print on it, the ink gets smeared. And there again, we have another little smudge, but that's okay, the ribbon wasn't too expensive, so I'm not gonna complain too much. At least the whole roll wasn't that way. So with the polka dotted ribbon, I just decided to tie it around the outside edge of the wire form wreath. Again, I just tied it with one knot. At this time, I decided to go ahead and cut my chevron ribbon. I'm going to alternate the polka dotted and the chevron ribbon on the outside of my wreath. With the chevron ribbon, I decided to cut it about six to eight inches for each piece.
With the chevron ribbon, I decided to cut it in the middle to give it a little bit of a different look, just to kind of vary it. So I decided to alter my polka dotted and my chevron print ribbon. You can space them out as far as you like or as close together as you like. You can always go back and add more ribbon. It's easy to slide the ribbon back and forth along the wire wreath. I'm adding my last ribbon here. You can add more ribbon or less ribbon. It really just depends on how you want your wreath to look. After you get done adding your last ribbon, make sure you take a good look at your wreath. Fluff it in places that it needs to be fluffed. Adjust your ribbon. You can also trim off the edges of your ribbon where it seems to be frayed a little bit. After you do this, you'll want to set your wreath aside. Now that we're finished, we get to move on to the sign. Mine says, if we aren't home, check Walt Disney World. I created mine on my computer. I used a chevron background and Disney inspired font. I just used different colors. I used Word document and just used text boxes to create the words and images where I wanted them. Just cut them out. I used a five by seven frame. So I just made my image to be a five by seven. really sure what happened here. It looks like my camera decided to switch views, so just bear with me. I'm really sorry. I know it makes the view a little different, but we're almost done. What I did here was I just took that floral wire, two pieces about 18 inches long, and there's little prongs on both sides of my picture frame, and I just secured them tightly onto each side. Then I just took a good look at my wreath and wanted to decide which would look best on the top, the bottom, each side. I fluffed it really good and then I just laid it upside down, took my picture frame and secured the two floral wires that I had put onto the back of the frame to the wire wreath form. As soon as you finish attaching the picture frame, take a quick look at your wreath, make sure everything's in place and everything is just the way you want it. Here's the finished product.